Okay, welcome to Lost Food Barbecue. Today we're gonna make duck legs with um, caramelized Brussels sprouts. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're gonna start off by trimming off some excess fat. On the duck leg, the, um, the meat actually runs all the way out to the sides. So it's easy to cut them when it's lying upside down like this. And then once that's done, we're gonna season it with salt and pepper. Uh, and then um, I think that's good enough. And then we're gonna brown them in a cast iron skillet, move that to the oven and finish off uh, 350 for about, I would guess about an hour or so. And while that's cooking in the oven, we're gonna be making the Brussels sprouts, but I'm gonna come to that in a little bit, so. Let me finish this and uh, throw these on the stove. Okay, so we're going to start off by taking half a stick of butter, about 50 grams. And there we go. I'm going to start skin side down. So I only have to turn them once. Okay, so I'm gonna let them lie there for about five minutes before turning okay. them. So it's been about five minutes. Time to turn these over. Look at that. Okay, so it's been about a minute, maybe two. Time to put them in a preheat oven at 350. And it's gonna take about 45 minutes to an hour. I'm gonna attempt them and make sure they reach at least 165, as always with poultry. Okay, so to caramelize some Brussels sprouts, we need one tablespoon of butter, one tablespoon of rice vinegar, two tablespoons of olive oil, three tablespoons of miso paste, three tablespoons of um, honey, one teaspoon of freshly ground pepper, one teaspoon of salt, uh, 150 milliliters of water, which is uh, just over half a cup. Um, so I would say four ounces and, um, or something like that. Then we need um, about an inch of uh, ginger, finely chopped, two cloves of garlic, finely chopped, and one shallot, finely chopped. Okay, so we're gonna start off by mixing the wet ingredients. So, water. Miso paste, which actually isn't the wet ingredients, but it will dissolve. And rice vinegar. And the honey. And that's gonna take a while. And then we're just gonna put that to the side and um, we're gonna add that to the Brussels sprouts after we fry them, fry them golden. Okay, so let's start by trimming these Brussels sprouts. Uh, we're gonna cut away the um, the stem part and also remove some um, some of the leaves if they are dirty and there we go so i'm going to put this on the stove and bring it to a rolling boil and let it boil for five minutes okay time to test this they've been boiling for about five minutes i think they're tender enough I'm gonna take them out of the water and let them strain. Then we're gonna start with the frying pan. We start by adding the oil and the butter. Two tablespoons of oil, one tablespoon of butter. Let that melt. And once that's starting to brown, we're going to add the onion, the garlic, and the ginger, and let that infuse into the oil, butter. Anyway, we're going to add them in there. 
This is just going to take a few minutes. I'm going to toss them around just to brown them up. Starting to look pretty good. So we're going to add the miso sauce. Give it a stir. Just pour it over there. Once again, just stir together. Oh, we got a vinegar smell here now. We're just gonna let it simmer until all the liquid has been incorporated with the Brussels sprouts. So I'll meet you back in a few minutes. Check on the ducks. Gonna baste them a little bit. Starting to look really nice. Smells in this kitchen at the moment. So let's try this out. That says 187. So I would think these are done actually. Yes, that's closer to 200. That's good. Yep, it's good enough. I'm just gonna leave them in there until the Brussels sprouts are done. Then it's time to eat. Okay, time to plate this. I'm gonna start with duck leg, just like so. And then we're gonna add a little bit of sprouts. I think that will be perfect. And I have a few quarter cherry tomatoes just to top that off. And with this, we're going to have a pear jam. Like that. And then we're going to end up by using a little bit of the butter and duck juice from the pan. Something like so. Time for a taste test. Cast iron has got a duck legs with um, caramelized Brussels sprouts. I'm going to try the duck first. Mmm, it's really, really nice, really moist, and the taste of that sauce was really good. So let's grab the Brussels sprouts, guys. These are not dangerous. Really tender. They have a lot of taste. Of course, they taste uh, like Brussels sprouts in the base, but um, the caramelization was really nice. Um, I'm gonna try one with a little bit of the pear jam because I think that goes well together. Yeah, really, really nice. I'm gonna enjoy this. Um, and since it was Helena that wished for this, well, I'm thanking her. Thank you for watching. Bye.